most people have been working with log footage and it's nothing new for the film crews but it might be for the broadcast cameraman in the rec 709 hd world you'd have to be very careful with your dynamic range it's quite limited and you always have to protect your highlights now with c look 2 you can basically throw that overboard and um, your dynamic range mainly extends in the highlights if you look at the limited range of a 709 image uh, like this one you'll see that there's no detail left in the highlights in the sky and the shadows have very limited detail. Shooting this in log means that you can maintain the detail so that the colorist has more to play with. Actually, you might have to be more careful with the blacks instead of with the highlights. So if you underexpose, you end up with more noise in the blacks and once this has been compressed, it's very hard for a colorist to take this out of a code. Yeah, with C-Log 2, I think cameramen should maybe look at overexposing their shots a touch more as there's more range in the C-Log 2 in the upper limits so that we can create more detail or gain, pull more detail back in the grade. The way a colorist will approach it, normally when we approach a scene, we'll split it up into shadows, midtones, and highlights. But with more dynamic range now, we'll have to split the highlights up into three sections as low highlights, mid highlights and high highlights. Because when it hits the grades, it's a lot harder to bring something up than it is to pull something down. And with the amount of stops and the dynamic range there is now, even if it's clipping, there's still detail there that we can pull back. And the great thing about this camera is that you can use the look or personalized settings in both HD, 2K, Ultra HD and 4K. So if you're limited in capacity of data, you always have several options to play with.